told you that. I can't remember if I told you that. I found the baboons, but they're in the lodge itself, all shouting and screaming at each other, as baboons so often do. Unfortunately, no view of them. You can just hear them barking away at, in the lodge itself. Important reminder to all to close your doors. If you happen to be staying at a safari lodge, um, keep the kitchen doors closed, keep your, your own personal doors closed, because otherwise the baboons will come in and they will wreak havoc. Oh, in the case of poor James, they will steal your oats. Poor James lost his oats to the baboons a couple of days ago. He was not impressed. Ah, apparently they've been through once again this morning and James has lost a, a bag of nuts this time around. I'm sorry, James. Poor James. I, if I were him, I'd start to take it personally. It seems to me like they're targeting him specifically. They did manage to get into Inger's, which is the house that I live at, and they spread sugar. I, we were really lucky it wasn't worse. I don't. I, I literally opened the door, went and got myself a glass of water, went back, and then was going back to shut the door again, and they were in, and there was sugar everywhere. The steps, the door, they didn't even want to eat it. They just wanted to spread it around just for, just for kicks. Worst baboon experience ever was when I was, I had an all girl teenage school group from the States staying and we would take them on safari and we kind of tailored the, the drive around their syllabus that they were covering in high school at that point. And we'd been in that house for about a week and the baboons got into the rubbish bins. They got in through an open door, an open window or something and they spread the rubbish everywhere. It took us hours to pick it all up and it was not pleasant I can assure you so beware of baboons everybody they will raid if they can get in they will